Hi, and welcome to our video on Dark Comet and ECAT. This video is the first in a three-part series showing how ECAT can defeat threats that AV can miss. In this section, we'll show you how to create your own custom malware using the widely available Dark Comet RAT, or Remote Administration Tool, compiler. Dark Comet was in the news recently, as it was identified as the malware used by the Syrian government supporters to spy on the opposition movement. It's widely available and very popular. In fact, according to the official Dark Comet website, it's been downloaded so far more than 672,000 times. So let's go ahead and get Dark Comet up and running. We've got it installed on an attacker machine, and we're going to use the Dark Comet user interface to go and create a backdoor that can be used to infect and take control of a target machine. We'll choose the process hijacking and active firewall bypass options to minimize detection. Then we'll go to network settings, set our IP address, and choose port 443 for communication between the target and the attacker machine. Then we specify where we want to drop the files on the target machine for retrieval later on. We'll delete the original infector once it's used and we have a hidden persistent installation as the options. After that we go to module shield and in there we hide the keys and files and other options and activate the keylogger function. After that's done we're ready to build the executable. We're going to call the executable contacts.exe Now that the infector or dropper is completed, we're ready to go ahead and deploy that file to a target machine. In this case, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to copy contacts from our attack machine and then go ahead and paste that on a target machine. Note that the target machine is running a fully updated copy of Symantec endpoint protection with the latest antivirus definitions. We saved the custom malware as contacts.exe on the desktop, but in the real world the file will be embedded inside an email attachment and sent as a phishing attack or downloaded in a drive-by attack when visiting an affected but otherwise legitimate website. You can see when we go ahead and run contacts.exe that it goes and runs with no alerts or blocking or stopping by the AV. When we go back in and log into our console on the attack machine, we can now see that the target machine is infected and active and visible in the console. We can use the built-in dark comet functionality to go ahead and open up a remote shell. Next, we'll upload a port scanner to the target machine. We're going to execute this through a command shell and redirect its results to a local file on the target machine that we'll call results.txt. And we can see that running through the script. As results.txt is retrieved from the target machine, then when we go back into the attack machine and the console in the file manager, we can go and see that file and retrieve it. As well as any other data we want to exfiltrate from that from the machine that we've hijacked. So in conclusion, we saw how to use an off-the-shelf tool like Dark Comet to create custom malware. We saw how with some minor modifications through the control panel, we created a version that evaded AV detection. And how, once placed on the victim's machine, we were able to take full control of the machine and exfiltrate any data and use it as a jumping off point to attack the rest of the corporate network. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part two of this series where we show how ECAT detects threats like dark comet rats that AV can miss.